What's up everybody, Kevin here, and in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you a video of GTA 5 mods, and today for you guys, I've got is another episode of the Real Life Cars mod. Today, we're going to be taking a look at supercars. In the last episode, I've done uh, muscle cars, so if you guys haven't already, be sure to go check it out. So today, we're going to be taking a look at some of cars, some of the supercars, and uh, this might be a part, this might be in parts, so part 1 is here today, and then part 2 maybe be in the next like month or so. So uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this series by hitting the like button. Let's try to go for 50 likes in this stream here. And if you guys are new, be sure to hit the subscribe button for daily content. And uh, let's get to it. So let's open up our menu here. And uh, I've got about 20 to 22 cars. But uh, most of them are like obviously real life cars. But I think I installed two of them that are hyper cars. So uh, I'm just going to go through those uh, very quickly later on when we get to it. So at first over that we got is going to be the Lamborghini Performante. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> Jesus, man. Look at this beast. How beautiful does this car look, man? This is amazing. I was going Cameron, I was going Bryce, welcome. I was going Face Traps. Um, I was going Amran, welcome. I was going Juicy Man. Look, oh. <laughs> This is amazing. I'm in love with this car. So uh, this is obviously a Lamborghini Huracan. And this is the Performante Edition. And what we're going to do here in this in this uh, live stream here, we're going to be taking a look at the top speed. We're going to be taking a look at the interior, the modifications, and everything about this car. So at first, the interior is very, very well detailed. And... Um, like, literally everything is so well detailed in, like, real life to this game. Like, it's so, so precise. You see the Lamborghini, um, the Lamborghini right there on the dash. You got all these switches, the steering wheel, the speedometer works, as you see there. Which, that's pretty awesome. How's it going, Renz? Welcome. And, uh, if you guys want to shout out to either, you become a super chat, uh, either you become a member, or you have to super chat, so uh, that's the only way for a shout out. And uh, look at this. Oh, so let's take a look at the modifications here. Uh, why did I press record? Okay, so let's go down to our menu. So there's only engine upgrades and stuff. So all the original upgrades. There's not that much. So this is this is pretty much it for this Lamborghini here. How's going, Aiden? Welcome. How's going, Camper Italy? Remember me? Of course I do, man. Of course. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to bring this on top of the ultra ramp. So I installed the ultra ramp. Every episode I do, I bring most of the cars on the ramp. And uh, we see how far it goes if we can land on Maze Bank Tower. So uh, let's get to it. I doubt it it's going to make it just because it's kind of a bit slow. But uh, let's go here. Manage. Oh, there we go. And I think we're gonna go with, I think it's Ultra Ramp. So this is gonna load. This is just gonna load up a bit. Just be patient. Everything else will load, the map has to load. Ah, oh, there we go, that was pretty quickly. That was pretty fast. So let's go here. All right, let's put on our speedometer. Uh, where is it at? Here it is. Oops, speedometer. So as you see there, in the top, and the bottom right hand corner, you see that it's miles per hour, so we'll be testing out this car. Do I have TG's car? I think so, but I already showcased that in like a, in another live stream before. But this is something like his car. Hey, it's kind of slow, I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of slow, 150. How's it going, Nate Gaming? Welcome, man. Oh, oh, can we make it on? Nah, we can't make it. <laughs> we can never make it on. How many members do you have? I used to have two, but now I have zero. Oh, perfect landing. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this car. So this is the first one out of like the 20 or 22 I have. So let's go back to the airport. Perfect. Perfect. 
Why is my car alarm ringing for? That's weird. So <laughs> let's switch it up. Let's go with a new car. And uh, so now, next car we're going to have is going to be the 2017 Ford GT. Look at this baby. Oh my god. Look at the automatic spoiler coming up. This car is pretty fast. It's pretty fast stock. Look at the interior, pretty well detailed, I'm not gonna lie. Nice carbon fiber everywhere. If you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of carbon fiber. The speedometer works. It's pretty accurate. Got all the buttons on the steering wheel, the volume and stuff. How's it going, Corey? Welcome, man. How's it going, Julian? Welcome, everybody. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. Great Saturday, it's a weekend. Most of you guys are probably on March break or spring break. Either it was this week or it's this week coming up. Or it could be in the future weeks. So let me know when is your spring break or March break, wherever you call it. Because here in Canada, we had it like this week was like the last. Like as the last week is finished. So and it only lasts for one week. But uh, look at this 4G team. Oh. What a beautiful car. This is probably one of my favorite Ford GTs or Ford cars as a uh, supercar because it's even I don't consider it a uh, supercar. I kind of consider this like a hypercar because I mean Ford is like a muscle. It's a muscle car you like it. So I kind of I kind of call this a hypercar but and it's a category of a supercar so that's pretty awesome. Let's check out the modifications. I don't think there's that many. Yeah, it's only the upgrade, only the regular upgrade. All these. Paint, I think we're gonna leave it like that. It looks nice like that. Extras, what have we got for extras? Let's see. Oh, a roll cage. That's pretty cool. That's a nice car. My birthday is on the 13th. Nice, okay, so I remember that. If you come in my live stream on the 13th, then. Uh, for sure, I wish you happy birthday, so. Look at this. Okay, so let's bring this on top of the ramp. And let's see how far we could go. Hopefully, we I want to try to make it on Maze Bank Tower. Because every card that I had, or that I showcased, I tried to land on Maze Bank Tower. But either it was too slow or it was too fast. So, <laughs> so that's the thing. So let's go here. And uh, I think it's Ultra Ramp. How's it going, Typical Beast? Welcome, man. Which console do you play on? I play on PC, but I'm using a controller. Okay. There might be a little lag here, just because YouTube does not process, like, all these... All this crazy stuff, so... Might be a little blurry for you guys. But let's see. Oh, already 100. I think it's gonna crack 200. That's what I think. go come on we're almost there 200 there we go oof come on make it come on with a bit more horsepower come on come on no <laughs> come on man we were so close we were so close we were so close but uh, overall, guys, let me know what you think of this car. And uh, after, if you watch the whole live stream, let me know in the comments below in order which one is your favorite car. Uh, let me go to time because... Oh, there we go. You guys already know noon. So let's go back to the airport. Let's go here. How's it going, Boris the Turtle? Welcome. But I might join your member squad. But thank you, man. I appreciate it. How's it going, Angel? Welcome. So let's switch up the car. Let's go with... Now, guys, I installed... If you look in the thumbnail, you guys can see that there's... Bugatti Chiron. And there's the Bugatti Devo, which is the new one. The 2019, I believe. And uh, don't worry, guys. It's coming. It's coming. Don't worry about it. It's gonna come soon. 
But uh, right here we've got the Ferrari 812 Super Fast. This is kind of a recent Ferrari that they just made. I'm not sure exactly what year. I believe it's like a 2018 or 2017. But look at this. Oh. I'm in love with this car already. I'm in love with this car. <laughs> this is pretty awesome, man. So this is the Ferrari 812 Super Fast. And uh, so far, it's not that fast at all. Let's see if we can make this little jump. Ah, there we go. Backflip, I wouldn't be able to. Alright, let's take a look at the modifications. Now, this one, if I'm not mistaken, I know there's a couple. I already showcased this in uh, the Ferrari uh, Real Life Cars mod as a Ferrari edition. So, if you guys missed it, go check it out. It, I live streamed that a couple of months ago, most probably in the summer. So, uh, if you guys haven't already, go check it out. We looked at the old Ferraris and new Ferraris. Let's go with... Let's go with a red, of course, man. Ferraris all have to be red. They all have to be red. Red or yellow is one of the main colors, so... That's what it is about the Ferraris. The interior is very good. It is. Oof. Look at that. Look. There's even a speedometer on the passenger side. Guys, look at that. Look at that. There's a speedometer on the passenger side. What other car has that? No other car. In my knowledge, no other car. On the passenger side. And then it, re it goes to back to zero as soon as it hits 100. So that's pretty awesome. I like that a lot. Okay, let's uh, go to more modifications here. I think there's a spoiler to add. What haven't we added yet? Extras. Okay, so we got license plate. Oh, okay, so this license plate is the A12 super fast. And then you got, obviously, the North Yankton. But no, we're not going to go with that. We're going to go with this one right here. Um, then for extra three, we got a splitter in the front, which looks pretty awesome. Then it adds canards. I'm not a big fan of the canards. Let me know what you guys think about these canards on a Ferrari. I'm not a big fan. Even like in the original GTA 5 cars, uh, and online, like any canards, I'm not a big fan of because it just makes the car look ugly, in my opinion. A tow hook? No, thank you. And look at this. It adds a spoiler. So, uh, this is... <laughs> this is pretty awesome, man. I was going to ride and walk up. Notification thumbnail shows up as Fortnite week 2. YouTube right now is glitching, man. Like, today, YouTube notifications didn't go out as much. Like, I've seen people stream uh, in my sub feed and I did not get notifications. So, that sucks. But whatever, man. YouTube is YouTube. Look at this, oof. This Ferrari 812, super fast. Not that fast, but it looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Look at look at the wheels. Michelin tires. You got all oh, the Ferrari logo right there. Oof, that's beautiful. Look at that. That is probably one of my favorite Ferraris. Uh... Yeah. How long will this live stream be? Most probably about an hour. Look at that. Oof. The sound is amazing. I love the sound of it. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this car. And let's move on to the next one. Uh, this one right here. I showcased this car in a couple of live streams. Not just one. I've obviously done a Porsche edition. I've done another, I did exotic supercars, which are more intense than these ones. What else? I think there was another live stream that I've done that included this car here. But I'm sure you guys already know what this is. This is the Porsche 9, 918 Spider. And, uh, oh, look at this beautiful car. The spoiler comes up, automatic spoiler, which is beautiful. Look at that. Oh. How's going, Victor? Welcome, man. Do you have the Aventador? It's coming. It's coming. Slowly, slowly, everything is going to come. Don't worry. 
As well in Chronic, welcome man. So this is the Porsche 918 Spider. And um, we got a couple of modifications for this. Oh, look at that. The exhaust is on the trunk or on the engine, I guess you could say. That's not down here. But that's pretty awesome. Interior is very, very well detailed again. All of these mods will be in the description after uh, this video, after the live stream becomes a video. So if you want to go check them out for yourselves, feel free. So let's check out the modifications for this car here. Oh, we got a lot. Okay, so for some reason, this spoiler... This spoiler, like, if I put a spoiler and then go back to the original one, like, it does not go up anymore. So that's that's weird. But we're going to take a look at this one here. So this is the spoiler that's automatic, stays up. Like, it just stays up like that. You got the Wing 2, which is kind of like a sporty car or a race, race spoiler. Then you got 3, which is a carbon fiber one as the first one. So this one's white and then this one's carbon fiber. Looks pretty nice. I like it. That car looks awesome though, it is man, it's it's really awesome. Then you got front bumper, you got again canards with a lip. I mean I'll just add it, oh with a tow hook also. Not a big fan of that, but we, we, we're gonna add it, why not? Uh, rear bumper, more canards on the side, okay. Chassis, what have you got? Ooh. This changes the whole interior. Let's go with this one. So this one is a stock one. Then obviously it adds a racing seat, everything carbon fiber. And then adds the black. But everything is literally blacked out. Everything is carbon fiber, so we're gonna go with this one, of course. But oh <laughs> what on earth is this man? Look at this. As Gwen Jalal, welcome. Look at that. So you could make this car have no engine cover. So literally it could be exposed and <laughs> i don't know what to say man some of these cars are insane so let's let's keep it like that let's keep it like that roof we could have a uh, regular roof or we could have a carbon fiber roof which looks pretty cool i'm gonna go with this one engine upgrades upgrade all of these default ones uh less weight i know huh you should stream you should stream some apex soon man soon i just wanna i haven't been playing a lot of apex lately just because i'm i'm waiting until they add solos in because i'm not a big fan of trios but uh it's gonna be soon don't worry okay i guess that happened i play on pc but i'm using a controller change color now when i keep like this i don't want to get in too in depth of this because there's a lot of cars and this live stream will take most probably two hours if i will go in depth modifications but uh extras what do we got for okay it adds the license plate in the front no thank you and then for this extra doesn't really add anything okay i guess uh we'll keep like that for liveries, we've got martini, we got this one here, and that's pretty much it. Those are the two liveries that they have, okay. And you get mods on Xbox, you could, but it's gonna be really hard, so I suggest just uh, switching it up. But uh, don't don't go online with it, I'm telling you now, just don't go online with it. Or else you get automatic ban. But uh, let me know what you think about this car right here without the engine cover. But if we go back, we're going to add the engine cover right here. Oops. I think it's chassis. No. This one. There. But let me know right now if what this looks better than before. How's it going, Butter Biscuit? Just joined. Well, welcome, man. <laughs> but uh, if you guys are enjoying the stream so far, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. We're so close to 8.6k subscribers. We're literally like six off. So if you guys haven't already and you're new, be sure to hit that subscribe button for awesome more mods and uh, more mods coming soon. 
I'm working on crazy mods, so uh, be on the lookout for that. It's gonna be pretty awesome. How do you, how do you get the mod? Uh, you go on Google, type in GTA 5 mods, and it should be the first website that will pop up. And uh, but I suggest you searching it up first before do, like doing anything, because it might screw up your computer if you do something wrong. So, or it might screw up your game. Like your game will always crash if you screw up something. So uh, switch it up and uh, for sure, man, you could install these mods pretty easy. For PC overall, it's it's pretty easy, but for console, I'm not sure exactly. Oh. <laughs> well, that happened. Just smash into a crate that you put all your luggages in so that all these could go into the airplane and uh, have a nice flight. Well, I'll be fucked. <laughs> Okay, Trevor, okay. So let's go. Let's switch up the car. Let's go with another car. Uh, what have we got here? Man, I'm telling you guys, there's so many crazy cars. So, this one here is going to be the Lamborghini Aventador LP704. Ooh, look at that beautiful sound. Automatic spoiler. Are the mods free? Yes, they are. They are free. All of them are free. Look at that. Ooh. When is the Bugatti coming? Don't worry, it's coming. It's coming, don't worry. I have another thumbnail for a reason, so it's coming. Both of them. The Veyron I don't have just because it kept on crashing my game, so I just forgot about that. Look at this. So we got the Lamborghini Aventador. Look at the interior. Oh my god, man. This is why I love to showcase all these cars, just because the, the mod creators do such an awesome job and everything is so well detailed in the game. Like, look how, look how detailed it is. If you guys look in real life into here, wait, let me just take a closer look at this. Look, watch this. Wait. Oh. Oh. There we go. Look at that. This right here, you could... I can't even go slower, man. Look at that. Strata, you got Sports, you got Corsa, which Corsa is the fastest, uh, like it's kind of like a sport mode. But uh, Corsa is like one of the fastest modes. I can't, oh, look at that. You got Stop and Start, Return. This is like your, um, your knob to, I guess, to hire your volume or something. Like media name tell like everything is so well detailed you got park reverse i don't know what this is maybe manual but i oh, could be manual because there's paddle shifts right here oh there's paddle shifts right there but overall man amazing 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 this is why i love doing this gta 5 mods of these cars how's it going samuel welcome how's it going uh understand welcome man Am I going to play with TG soon? Whenever I, uh, whenever he does GTA 5 online, for sure I'll be joining him. Do you have any advice for a newish YouTuber? Don't stop promote. Because, uh, that's stupid if you do. But uh, do what you love, man. Put your passion into it. And that's pretty much it. If you're passionate about it, go ahead, go for it. Give it a try. And all I can tell you is don't self-promote, because YouTubers, like other streamers, do not like that. And if your fans know that you're self-promoting, then there's no point of you streaming. But uh, yeah, so just continue the good work, like, just keep on streaming or doing videos, put in hard work, do what you're passionate about, and that's pretty much it. I think that you have... Fortnite creative is match for life. Yeah, you like you have you have auto, unlimited mats, so that's basically it. I don't know what exactly you're saying about that, but look at this car. Oh no, I tried to do the jump, but the car was too fast. <laughs> Good Lord above. What do you have to pay to become a member? It's five dollars a month. You get some exclusive chats in uh, exclusive emotes in chat. You get a badge. 
as a new member I think one month three months six months and one year and then two years I can't even get out of here uh, there we go teleport just like that you can play uh, games with me that's gonna be exclusive thing for members only you can play Fortnite with me or other games I will have money on my birthday on March 26th and I might become a member. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. If I don't see you, uh, if I don't see you in chat by then, man. Happy early birthday. Okay, let's take a look at modifications because for this card, there's quite a lot of modifications. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> let me, let me just take a zip of water first before I start because this car has a lot of modifications. Like, I'm not... Line 3 guys, this car has some crazy body kits. You know mats for life? You are trapped. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what you're saying. <laughs> play Minecraft, no thank you. That's the last game I'll play, man. That is the last game I'll play. Even Roblox, never playing, man. But, uh, okay. So first what we got here is we got the DMC Carbon Fiber Small Spoiler. You got the LB Works. Okay, so obviously you guys know what that is. Liberty Walk. Body Kit. You got the Small Adjustment Fixed Spoiler. And then you got this SV Kit Medium Type Spoiler. So I think with this one here, I'm not going to do a uh, LB, LB Works. Just because I already have a card that has like all the body, like um, the Liberty Walk Body Kit. So I'm not going to do that on this card here. So for this one here, I'm going to do the SV Kit. And uh, then we got, for from members, we got the ER track version before collision. I'm not sure what that is. Then you got the Forza Horizon 3 custom carbon fiber. Looks pretty nice. Then you got the DMC one. Adds canards on the side. Not a big fan of that. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Your bumpers. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I don't know, man. This, <laughs> this car right here. Like look look at this. Look at this beefy spoiler with what's that called again? The diffuser, that's it, diffuser. Then you got the original DMC carbon fiber exhaust armor. Which I think would have stick with this. Skirts, you got the ER track version, and then you got the DMC. Let's go with this. Exhaust. Up four LB works, and you got the SV. Want to keep it SV? Then we're gonna go. Whoops. Let's go with grill. What? Oh, it adds this little uh, thing in the middle. Oh, that's pretty nice. But I think this is for the race, uh, the race track body kit. Let's go with nothing for that. Vented. Oh, vented hood. Of course, we're gonna go with that. SV body kit. So this is gonna be everything in the interior is gonna change. Or I mean, in the exterior. So the SV body kit adds some uh, vents in the back. It adds. Oh, the whole back changes. Like the whole back changes of this car. Like from this to this. Literally everything is like carbon fiber and vented. Which I'm a big fan of that. I like that a lot. Roof, install roof. I kind of like this as a convertible. Not gonna lie. I've got the engine, turbo. Or brakes that was. Turbo and xenon lights. Nerf breeze is nothing. So this is the Lamborghini. This is the Lamborghini Aventador. Oh! That is pretty fast. Will Smith, oh that's hot. That's hot, exactly. Oh, this thing could fly. Okay, let's bring this up to the to the ramp. Let's do this. Maybe this could land on Maze Bank Tower. Let's see if this is gonna work. Because I think I have to go a bit, a bit of an angle to go on Maze Bank Tower. So let's see if we could... 
if we could get it. The Aventador SV is spicy. It is. I'm in love with this. Okay, I think we have to go from here. So on this corner and then go straight to the right. No, it stopped. Come on. So that's the problem with this ramp here. When there's a car that's too low or that has a f like a uh, front bumper, like a splitter, it just stops, which kind of sucks. Retry. Okay, we could retry. Let's let's do this. Maybe we're at an angle too much. Let's just go straight and uh, let's see what happens. There we go. Teleport to reference. Look! Look at the wheels, man. Just look at that. The sound? Amazing. Let's try this again. Let's see how far we could go. Bullshit. That's what happened. That's what happened. <laughs> Let's see, just in the straight. Straight line, no corners whatsoever. 230 oh we made it I think it's got too much speed I think I think it has too much speed mm, no it has too much speed man way too much but hey at least we made it over look at that's free fall <laughs> perfect landing 10 out of 10 all right let's go back to the airport and let's change up the car I got we're half an hour in and I only showed you like four cars or something like that. Damn, this is gonna be a pretty long live stream. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five cars in half an hour. And I've got like 22 cars. So this is not a supercar, it's a hypercar. So this is a Lamborghini Centenario. So uh, this is just a brief look at it. And I might do a live stream with just hypercars only. I have to find all of them because it's really hard to find. So, this is the Lamborghini Centenario. Now, guys, in the thumbnail, you guys have been asking me for the Bugatti. We've got the Bugatti Chiron 2017. So this is the stock edition, fully stock. Then we got here is the Bugatti Chiron 2019. This is the sports edition. And as you, see, as you see here, there's a big difference between it. And uh, modifications, we're going to take a look at it right now. Look at that. For the back changes, we got four exhausts over here. And for this one, the exhaust has like a little cover on it and there's two of them. Centenario to the accent. Centenario, that's it. It's Italian, so I should say because I'm Italian too. Centenario. But look at this. Bugatti Chiron. Obviously, it's French, so. Look how fast. Already with no modifications whatsoever. No performing upgrade. You see the new Toyota Supra? I, I've seen it, but I'm not a big fan of it. I'm a fan of the old one, of course. The 98 one. But, uh. I'm not a big fan of the new Supra. It's so quiet, this car. Why is it so quiet? Wait, what? Four exhausts there. It has one on the left and one on the right. So in total, there's six exhausts on this car here. Oof. Let's take a look at the interior. All, car all carbon fiber, of course. We gotta take this on the ultra ramp. We gotta take this on the ramp. But let's go here. Let's check out the modifications. Spoiler. On automatic spoiler, we're not gonna put that. Obviously, we want automatic spoiler. Racing splitter, you got chassis, splitter 2, which adds canards on the side, no thank you. Another tow hook, no. Engine, upgrade that. Suspension, armor, paint, I kind of like the paint of this car here. I kind of am a big fan of this, I like this a lot. We got extras, no, we gotta keep the Chiral Sport. 
Never use nothing. Turbo and Zeno Lights. Okay. <laughs> let's take a look. Let's bring this up on the ramp. And I also installed a course, which maybe we can bring this on a course after. But uh, let's go on the ramp. Let's me go here. Okay. I was going outcast. Welcome. I was going easy. Okay, you guys are ready for this. If you guys are enjoying the stream so far, you want to see more of these types of GTA 5 mods, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's get to it. Here we go. This is fully upgraded. Two eighty could have hit three hundred. No, it's uh, it stops. Come on. I hate that when that happens. It literally just stops. <laughs> well, that was a bummer. Just planted ourselves right in the corner. This is the best mod I've seen. But thank you, man. I appreciate it. I do a lot of these car mods, so. Be sure to subscribe if you want more of these mods and let me know in the comments because the more the more you guys love these mods the more i'll do them for sure and a lot more car mods coming very soon let's go back to the actually let's go back on the ramp let's see if we could do this again maybe i think it's a splitter let's see if we could take out the splitter from bumper let's see this Let's see if this is gonna work. Hopefully. Or else we could try to raise the car and let's see if that's the problem. Maybe this car is too low. I think it might hit 10. That case was before this man. No, I don't think so, man. I really don't think so. Maybe 9k, but 10k, I don't think so. Hits at the same spot. Okay, let's 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 bring this to another level. Vehicle options. Slam it, which we're not gonna slam it. We're gonna go. I'm a skyscraper. <laughs> we're gonna go. I'm a skyscraper. Or we could go with such high. What's the difference? Okay, tiptoeing. Let's go with this one. Let's go back on top. Because I want to try to complete this ramp with this car here. So that's what I want to do. I like your stream. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, it's undrivable. Okay, let's try this out. Let's try this out. If this works, the speed is not all there. Oh, maybe it is the speed that's there. Why? Just why it crashes right at the tip. Man, that sucks. Okay, let's go back to the airport. But uh, that was it for this car here. Bugatti Chiron. This is the Sports Edition 2019. Let's go back here. Obviously, put back the suspension to normal. Uh, I'm going to go to off. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it that it always stops there. Okay, let's switch up the car. Oh my god. Can't even stop this car for how fast it is. So the next one we're gonna have is going to be... Uh, oops, wrong category. This is going to be the Bugatti Devo 2019. This is the new one, of course. And I showcased this one in the exotic, the exotic supercars. But uh, this model has been upgraded. So if you look at the other live stream, the spoiler never used to go up. Like there was no automatic spoiler. But now this car has been updated. And it's got a automatic spoiler right here. Devil, Devil, whatever man. It's all the same. <laughs> it's all the same. I mean in French it's Devil. A Bugatti Devil. Devil sounds too English. But look at that. Oh, look how humongous the spoiler is. That's a big wing for real. 
love your vids. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> Butter biscuit. Thank you. I appreciate that. So uh, let's take a look at the modifications. I remember for this one, you cannot change the color of the car. So let's see if the mod creator updated so that we could change the uh, the color. Let's go with all the upgrades. But nothing, nothing exterior changes. Let's check out the paint, please. Yes, we could change. I remember the primary color could change, but the secondary, the secondary is what what we have to change. Now nah, you see, it still stays. It still has the blue accents around the car. See that? That's what I don't like about it. But secondary color changes the brake calipers of the color, of course. So I think we should go with a blue since. Obviously, it's blue the car or the wheels. Uh, I think it's a, a diamond blue, nah. Ultra blue, light blue. Doesn't have the same color. Maybe, maybe light blue. I think light blue will look nice. Like has the same exact color, or like close to that color. Cause other other colors like this doesn't really match up. Like all the blues in the car and the in the game, so I think we're gonna go with the light blue. Make it gold. I mean, gold with this car, gold and blue. I mean, we could try. Let's see. Metals for gold. Nah, I'm sorry, man, but it's pretty ugly. If we if we could change the secondary color, like the blue on the bottom. Then obviously that would be amazing. It will look beautiful, but with the blue, blue and gold, I'm not a big fan of. Oh, maybe brush steel. Or matte black and that blue. We're gonna stick with this. How's going, Yusef? Welcome. How's going, Jay? Wish you love. I guess. Thank you. <laughs> We gotta bring this. Look, hear the sound. Hear the sound of this car. You guys are ready. And it has the same exhaust as the Chiron on the left, on the right, and you've got four red in the center. Like this. This is what a Bugatti is supposed to be and is supposed to sound like. Look at the lights. They're each individual lit. If I could... There we go. Each individual lit. In real life, it's... All, all of these little lights, they're individual lit. And then you got the center piece right there. In the middle of the spoiler that's lit up also. Which that's pretty awesome. How's it going, Brett? Welcome, man. How's it going, Hayden? Welcome. Oof. We gotta bring this on the ultra ramp. We have to. We have to. We have to test this out. We have to test this out. Let's bring this up. What's big big ramp was? I don't want to load that because then my game might crash. So let's let's load up this one. I was going Afro. Welcome. That's a monster right there. Exactly. This is a monster right here. Okay, you guys ready for this? Let's see. Let's see if we can make this go on Main Spank Tower. It might have too much speed for it. There's a lot of lag. Come on. Just go a little bit right and slow down. No, come on, man. Too much speed again. We have to find the perfect car for this. We have to find the perfect car because it won't ever make it on Maze Bank Tower. There's too much speed. There's too much speed and plus, like... The, the angle you have to hit, is, it has to be precise. So, so that's the thing about this, man. 
That's the thing about this uh, ramp. You gotta be really precise to, if you wanna make it on Maze Bank Tower. But overall, let me know what you guys think about this car. I give this car a million out of 10. Because I'm in love with this car. The interior is very well detailed, carbon fiber. Besides the speedometer, it's kind of a bit blurry. You got a GPS on the left, your speedometer on the right. Or in the middle, I mean. Then what's that on the right? The RPMs, I believe, but that's inverted. Not exactly sure, but it's awesome. I'm in love with this car. So uh, let's go here. Let's switch up the car. And uh, damn, 45 minutes already. We only show like not even half of the cars. So uh, this might be a quite a long, long, long stream. Uh, let's see what we've got here. So we're gonna take a look at this pretty quickly, pretty fast, just because this one. We're ready to. Ah uh, no! Please no! Please don't tell me I have to restart my game. Uh, I might have broken GTA Five. Just give me one second and let me see if this is going to work. Cause something is happening that my game. <laughs> Where is it at to delete? Remove. Delete all database. Okay, let's see if this is going to work now. If not, I got to reload my GTA Five. Oh, there we go. We don't have to. We don't have to reload anything. So this is, I showcase this in the Lamborghini edition. And this is going to be the Lamborghini Huracan ST. So this is a racing Lamborghini, of course. Check out the interior. This is made for racing, of course. Let's get 50 likes. Let's see, man. If you guys are enjoying the stream so far, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. We're so close to uh, six, uh, 8.6k subs. So if you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe. It's free. It's fast. And you will not regret it. So this is the Lamborghini Huracan ST. This is a racing edition. Almost the TG's car. Not really. Not at all, especially the interior, not at all. Next one, next one we've got is going to be the Ferrari La Ferrari a pre type, I think it's called. So, this is a newer model of the Ferrari La Ferrari, which I have I have it in game right now, which we'll be taking a look at it later on. How's it going Pickle Rick? Welcome man. Aswe Mohammed, heck of a stream. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. So this is the Ferrari La Ferrari. And uh, let's see, because I think this car glows on night, if I'm not mistaken. Let's change the night. Let's change the day or the time. Nah, it doesn't. No, that, that would have been so nice if it would have let up. It would have, like, literally glow in the dark. Because I know one Ferrari... I think it was another edition of the Ferrari La Ferrari that used to be lit up, but for some reason it does not work anymore. Man, that would have been awesome. That would have been a, such an awesome feature for this car. Let me freeze time. And uh, let's let's check out the modifications. Because this car is pretty fast already. Let me go to engine i think the only upgrades they are is just the uh, performance there's nothing much obviously we gotta make this a red leonel i'm a car guy well welcome man i'm a car guy also so i love doing these mods Oof. wait what is this a 70 wait what I, I gotta take a closer look at this. Hold up. 70 years, guys. 70 years of Ferrari. 1949 to... Actually, 72 years right now. So, 1979 to, nine, to 2019. 
or 1947 to 2019. So as you see there, this is the 70th edition car, or you can say 72. And uh, oh my god, that's pretty awesome, man. That is pretty awesome. Let's go in the interior. Oh, look at that a carbon fiber. The Ferrari seats with the Ferrari stitching. With a Ferrari engraved, embraced or engraved inside the seat. Oh. The engine. Look, guys. This is probably one of the best, best looking Ferraris out there. I have the LaFerrari, so we'll be taking a look at that in a bit. But this is LaFerrari Aperta, I think it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. But overall, man, this car looks amazing. Speedometer works. Oof. Thank you for the sub, I appreciate it. Look at that beast. Oh, I love Bugatti's. I looked, uh, I showcased it in a bit in, uh, in the earlier. Like, most probably around five minutes ago or ten minutes ago. Or maybe even closer. I'm not sure, but I showcased both of them. I showcased the Shirao and the Devo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The sound, man. The beautiful sound of La Ferrari. Look at that, the spoiler goes up, automatic spoiler with the ones and the bottom too. Of course, that makes the car aerodynamic, I believe that's called. It makes the car go faster. Which, that's amazing. Oh, <laughs> I'm in love with this car. So let's switch it up. Let's go with, I think the next one is going to be the McLaren P1. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so next one is gonna be the McLaren P1. Play with TG. I'll be uploading a video with me playing with TG tomorrow on Sunday. So uh, be on the lookout for that if um if you want to see me play with TG. But I play with him whenever he does GTA 5 online. So this one over here is the McLaren P1. Interior is well detailed. And you do a GTA Online stream. Uh, whenever, like, I kind of want to do, like, an open lobby session. But let me know what you guys play on PC or console. Because I play on PC and only PC players could play GTA 5 together. So, like, there's no crossplay. Which, that sucks. I wish there was. But uh, let me know if you guys want to see GTA 5 Online. And uh, maybe sometime I could do it with, like, uh, custom races and stuff. So let me know. For fuck's sake. Okay, Trevor, I understand you. So let's make our way to the modifications. This one is not that much of it. Guys, I don't know. I don't <laughs> imagine drive imagine seeing this in real life. On the road. McLaren P1 with no engine cover. Or we're no back. Like that looks pretty insane. But we're gonna stick with that. And the car glitched. The, the spoiler does not go up anymore, so that's weird. <laughs> oh my god, man. You gotta love GTA 5 mods. Transmission, suspension, armor. Oh there we go. Okay, we we fixed the glitch. Okay, perfect. Extras. Turbo and Xenon lights, okay. Extra is only the license plate. I guess we could add that. <laughs> I really love the detailing they did on that car. It's amazing. It's amazing. Carbon fiber interior. So this right here is the McLaren P1. And I've, I've installed a couple of McLarens. Just because why not? It's a supercar edition, so why not add McLarens? Uh, next one we're gonna have is the McLaren 720. Not sure why is this livery on. Let's take let's take a look at the modifications because I really don't like this livery. 
and you cannot change it. You can only change like just the decals, but the color. Let's see if we can change the paint. Because if we don't, if we can't change the paint, okay. Can we change secondary? Nah, I'm not a big fan of that. I don't like this ugly camo or dirt, whatever it is. I'm not a big fan of this one. But this is the McLaren 720. It's alright. It's aight. It's not that bad. Spoiler goes up, of course. Automatic spoiler. Next car we're gonna go with. Oh, guys. I have so many cars. And I'm almost an hour in the live stream. Like... <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. There's so many cars that I installed, so this might be in parts. This is part one, of course, and I might do another. Actually, no, this is part two because I've done exotic supercars back in what was it, July or August? So this is part two, so I might have to do a part three of it. And you got the Lamborghini Murcielago, which looks pretty awesome. So I don't consider this as a supercar, I consider this as a sports car. Just because this is one of the older Lamborghinis. That's pretty awesome. Then you got... Okay, so this is another version of the McLaren 720. A cleaner version, no decals whatsoever. Which looks really nice, I like that a lot. Yeah, it's pretty good. It... It's, it's awesome, man. I love these mods. Oh. I guess I just switched to this. Okay. I guess there's different types of uh, <laughs> of this one here. So let's make our way to the next car, which we've got here is going to be the R mod. There we go. We've got the LP750. This is going to be the Aventador. And uh, this is gonna be the Liberty Liberty Walk Body Kit. LB Performance, of course. Let's take a look at the spoiler. Oh, we have to go with this one. We have to. Engine, brakes, transmission, suspension, armor, paint. Let's see what we have for paint. I think a red maybe a blue I think a blue will look good let's see oh yeah a blue looks amazing a big wang I like it <laughs> this is amazing how's it going tropical gamer welcome TG's car not really it's TG TG has a Lamborghini Huracan he's he doesn't have an Aventador. He only has a Hurricane. Extras. I guess. Nah, I'm not gonna go with license plate. Not even on the not even on the back. We're gonna keep it just like that. Remember me? Of course I do. I was going Sunday Freak, Walker man. That's a cool car, it is. Oh. <laughs> we just smashed it through that. But uh, let me know what you guys think about this. This is the Lamborghini Aventador LB Edition, which is the, the Liberty Walk body kit. Which looks absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at the interior. Oof. Pretty well detailed, too. I like this also. Right, let's go with the next car. Let's see what we've got. I've got so many. So many. Uh, so next one we're going to have is going to be the Lamborghini Terzo Mille. This is a hypercar again. It's not a supercar. So I just want to add this just to show you guys quickly. This is going to be a teaser and another live stream. And uh, don't worry about it, man. It's just a dislike bot. So don't worry about the dislikes. All good. I guess that cannot make it up. 
But this is a hyper car, so that'll be in the next episode. Let's go with... Right here, we've got the Ferrari La Ferrari. So, as I said before, I installed two La Ferraris. One was another version, and then this one is the first La Ferrari. Oh. Look at that sound of this car, man. It sounds so beautiful. How's it going, Dark? Welcome. You should do a you should do youtuber live stream youtuber cars live stream maybe that would be maybe that would be a great idea maybe that would be a future live stream youtuber cars edition that could be uh that could be a pretty interesting live stream let me know if you guys want to see that so this is the ferrari la ferrari then i'm gonna go here we've got another lamborghini aventador then you got the pagani zonda this is, of course, one of the top supercars ever. You play Fortnite? Yes, I do. The Pagani Zonda Tre Colore, which means three color in Italian. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful car, beautiful sound. I love everything about this car. Let's move on with the Ferrari 488 Pista 2018. This is kind of like, I don't know why the back is so high. I'm playing on PC, but I'm using a controller, so that's why you see the A and B. But this is the Ferrari 488, and then you got this one over here, which is the 488 G GTB. I'm in love with this man. All Ferraris are probably one of my favorites. If I had to choose Ferrari Lamborghini, it has to be Ferrari. I'm sorry, all you, all to your Lamborghini uh, fans out there, but Ferrari is probably one of my favorites. Then you got the McLaren 675LT. Guys, we need one more like for 50 likes. So if we could hit it in this stream, guys, that'll be amazing. So if you guys haven't already. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And uh, more GTA 5 mods coming soon. Look at this. Amazing. Amazing car. 10 out of 10. And here you've got the Porsche GT3 RS. This is another Porsche. I have added this one and then the 918, which we looked at earlier earlier in the stream. There's so many cars, man. I have to go through this quickly. <clears throat> How's when cool kid? Welcome. Let's see what else we've got. Got the Ferrari F12. Which I'm not sure... I've never seen this car in real life. I think this is like a newer model and the engine is in the front. Yes, it's in the front. It's not in the back. We've got the Ferrari F60, which of course the engine is in the front again. Interior looks very nice. Then next car we've got is going to be the Pagani Huayra. Which looks pretty awesome. Look at that. This looks amazing. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Butter Biscuit. I appreciate it. Then you got the Lamborghini Huracan DMC Afari. So this is kind of like a street race car, you could say. It has a roll cage, it has like the decals of number five. It's kind of like a stealth race car. Which looks really nice. Uh, what else we've got? The Audi R8. Another supercar. Then there's... I think we have a couple more cars. Let me see here. Nothing here. Nothing here. 
This is another Ferrari 488. This is another race edition. Which looks really nice. And uh, I think that is pretty much it for this stream here. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see more GTA 5 mods by hitting the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And uh, that's going to be guys. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And peace out.